it's me. Today I had this really burning itch and desire to do a Dolce Vita inspired makeup look. Also, I found this photo of Emily Rada Joukowsky or M. Rada. Uh, I think she's a model and an actress both, but I always love her makeup looks and I found this photo of her just randomly, I think on Pinterest the other day and I was like, ooh, I really wanna recreate that. And I just happened to get a ton of new Charlotte Tilbury products in the day and I just thought, this would be the perfect time to do that. So this is the look. It's just kind of like soft, smoky feline flick eye and then really polished skin. And I'm I'm living for it. I'm here for it. I'm also gonna be trying a ton of brand new Charlotte Tilbury products in this video. Actually, consider this to be a number two one brand tutorial for Charlotte Tilbury because every product I use was Charlotte except for like one. And I know I just did a Charlotte Tilbury one brand, but I literally couldn't freaking resist when I got all these products in. They look beautiful and amazing and I had to use them on camera for you all. So hope you don't mind. And that's what we're doing today. So if you aren't subscribed, please make sure you do so. And if you aren't following me on Instagram and Twitter, the handle will be right here. So let's go ahead and get into the look. Okay. I am so ready for today's video. I got a lot of feedback in my last video where I did just more of a casual laid back style. So that's what we're gonna do again today. Don't have the fancy lighting set up. We're just gonna, we're gonna take it old school. We're gonna take it old school. And I was just sent so much Charlotte Tilbury that I just honestly don't even know what to do with myself. So I know I just did a full Charlotte Tilbury tutorial, a one brand tutorial like a couple months ago, but I didn't have any of this stuff. So I've been wanting to do a look that was inspired by M. Rada or uh, Emily Rada Joukowsky. I think that's how you say her last name. Honestly, I don't know if she's a model or an actress or both. I've watched her 21 questions with Vogue and that's about it. But every time I see photos of her makeup, I freaking love it. So I've based this look today off of a photo that I found of her and we're just gonna roll with it. So I'm starting with Charlotte's Magic Cream. I was sent the Magic Cream, which I have tried this in the past. And I have to be honest with you, um, it wasn't my favorite from what I could remember, but I'm gonna give it another go because a lot of people said, give it another chance, maybe you got a bad one, yada, yada, yada. And I've also heard that her American version of Magic Cream is not the same as the European version. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this as my moisturizer. It feels nice, but if I remember correctly, I thought that it itched my skin. Like I had some type of reaction to this. So <laughs> fingers crossed that doesn't happen again. Next up is the Wonder Glow. And this is also another product that I have tried. It is basically just like a light infusing primer. It has this golden iridescence to it. So that's what it looks like. And I'm going to use this as my primer today as opposed to the Hollywood Flawless Filter. That's what I have been using as primer recently. But um, I want to see if this really makes a difference because I feel like when I used this on my skin back in the day, it was kind of just like a little bit of iridescence would show through. And that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting right now. If I were to apply Hollywood Flawless Filter, this right here, my face would instantly be shiny AF. I mean, this is just like a high shine primer. So I feel like, yeah, there's definitely a solid difference between the two. For foundation, of course, I'm using my all-time favorite, which is the Light Wonder. This could very well be one of my, actually, it could be my favorite liquid foundation of all time. I absolutely love the coverage on it. I love the finish, and it's just everything that I want in a foundation. So I'm just going to pop this on really quickly with my Smashbox Blurring Foundation Brush. I went up to our house this morning and our builders were messing with me. It was like 1030 and my hair looked like this. I didn't really fix my hair. And they were like, you just got out of bed, didn't you? And I was like, 
I was like, no, but damn, you know, sometimes a girl doesn't really want to fix her hair. I don't really feel like I need concealer for this look, but I'm just going to go ahead and pop on some retoucher pen since it is so lightweight. Uh, really, I don't feel like it's going to make too big of a difference, so I'm just going to pop that underneath my eye and also down my nose. All right, so this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And I'm going to be honest, I have used this in the past. I actually bought this at Bergdorf's, I think, when I was in New York City. One of the really fancy uh, department stores that I could barely afford to even step into, uh, I, I found this powder at and I bought it. And honestly, I've had a beef with it ever since. It really just didn't blow me away when I used it in the past. But I heard that you really only can use like a small amount of it. And I feel like I was probably setting my entire face with it. So I'm taking the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in number two. And y'all see, y'all see the size of this brush. I'm just going to take a small amount and I'm just going to set basically my T-zone and a little bit around my jawline with this. I mean, honestly, it's just, it's too soon to tell. I, I'm gonna have to wait till the end. It's smooth, it doesn't look bad, I'll say that, but is it comparable to my Lorac Perfection, my prized possession? I don't know. So you guys know I've been loving the Hollywood Contour Wand, so I am going to use that once again for this video. Um, the photo that I'm going off of of Emrata, she's very bronzy, very glowed up. So that is the look I'm gonna go for. And they also sent me the Filmstar Bronze and Glow Palette, which I've never tried before, but seriously, all of my friends love that palette. And uh, it's kind of just like a cult favorite of Charlotte's. So I'm just gonna apply this first and then we're gonna go in with Filmstar Bronze and Glow. It is now time for Filmstar Bronze and Glow. I don't think I have ever heard anyone talk shit about this palette on the internet. I'm, I'm not even joking. In every single tutorial that I see people use this palette, everybody just has phenomenal things to say about it. So I have very high hopes and I'm just gonna start off with same brush, I love using this for contour. It's also from Smashbox. It's the Buildable Cheek Brush. And I'm just going to dip into Dipped. I'm gonna dip into Sculpt, and we're gonna go at it. So I've almost got my entire face bronzed up now to the point of my liking. And it seems like it is a really good, just neutral, versatile contour or bronzing shade. And it seems like you almost can't apply too much of it. I really like that as well when you dip into the uh, pan it's not too powdery and you don't get you know like the bronzer streaks all over so yeah it's 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 looking pretty good but now I have the chic to cheek blush in ecstasy and this is actually the same exact color I was gonna buy at my mall at Nordstrom back in Nashville and uh, I honestly spent way too much on her five minute look in a palette and so I held off on buying this so kind of glad that I did. So you're supposed to just swish to start out with like around the outer perimeter here and you're supposed to start out I think by just bringing that all the way up on the temples and by the way the brush I'm using is a MAC 137 so I'm just going to sweep that um, up onto the temples. This is a, just a very light kind of luminous color. And then after you have blended the blush up on your temples, to my understanding, you're supposed to take the pop color, 
which is right in the center. Everybody says this looks like a boob, like that is the nipple in the middle. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and you're supposed to pop the darker color onto the apples of the cheeks. Pretty nice. It's looking quite lovely, if I do say so myself. If you think so now I'm gonna pick up the highlight shade in this palette and I'm just going to use that on the tops of my cheekbones. Ooh, very nice and soft, kind of like a candlelit effect, I would say. Just like a very soft iridescent color. Me likey. Okay, so I didn't have any brow products from Charlotte, so I just filled in my brows really quickly off camera. I did them a little differently from how I normally would, and I'm feeling like this one's a little dark, but um, we're just going to roll with it. No hate, please. So for this look of Amrata, she just has really dark, um, it seems like just either a matte or cream brown shadow and then just like a highlight on the inner corner and mascara. So I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to be doing my eyes a little bit differently, I think, because I have the Charlotte iconic Dolce Vita palette here. And the only color in here really that I feel like I would need to do this look would be this uh, brown shade and then this champagne color but I'm really tempted to use this just pop color that she uses in all of her tutorials. So we'll just see, we'll just see how it goes. I'm gonna take the first shade in here, which is the lightest color, and I'm just gonna use that as a base all over my lids, just to prep my lids. This seems to be the way that Charlotte always starts her tutorials out, so that's how I'm gonna start mine out. And it seems like there's always mixed reviews on these palettes, but so far so good. I mean, that champagne color is already popping just with a brush. I think it might be for um, these shades right here. You're supposed to use your finger and a lot of people want to use a brush. So yeah. And I'm just going to start taking the brown shade on a blender brush. This is my Petite Luxe Creeks brush from Zoeva. And I'm just going to start working that all over my lid. So now that I've got the general color placed on the top portion of my lid, I'm just going to start dragging this underneath my eye and smoking out my lower lash line because she does have uh, quite a smoky under eye. Okay, so now that I have everything just kind of smoked out, I'm gonna add a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Classic Eye Powder Pencil in Audrey, and I'm just gonna add that to the top lid and also tie line with it. So honestly, in the photo that I'm taking inspo from, her shadow is a little bit elongated. So what I've done is just, I've taken my MAC flat eyeshadow brush and I've just kind of slightly started from the bottom and I winged, made just like this slight wing and I'm taking that in on the top um, just to give like more of an elongated shadow effect. So now I'm going to try out the Full Fat Lashes Mascara. I have really been wanting to try this. It says it is a five star rated mascara, so we will see how I like it. I'm pretty harsh when it comes to mascara reviews because I don't have long eyelashes and most of the time, uh, you know, just doesn't make a huge difference on me, but we'll see. Ooh. 
So here is one eye with full fat lashes and then my other eye without. I will say right off the bat, I like the formula. It's not too wet and it's not too dry and that is what I love in a mascara. I think that's really what helps with uh, separation and preventing you know, your lashes from clumping. So um, it's, it's nice, it's a nice formula. I would definitely say that as far as volume goes I thought I would get more volume with this but honestly it kind of comes off as I'm getting more length than anything uh, but I am going to do the other eye and I'm going to do a second coat and we'll see what the uh, final result is. All right, so this is both of my eyes done with the full fat lashes. Honestly, it, it looks pretty good. I would say for a mascara, I like that it didn't clump. It has a really nice formula. Uh, but overall, I wish there was like a little bit more volume going on. Um, my Too Faced Better Than Sex is probably my favorite mascara when it comes to volume. Uh, but overall, I mean, it's not bad. It didn't clump and I can definitely see quite a bit of a difference. For lips, I'm going to take Iconic Nude, which is my favorite lip cheat from Charlotte, and the Bitch Perfect Lipstick. I have never tried this shade before, but it is one of the best sellers. And then I'm going to top it off with her Lip Luster Gloss in Seduction. So I really love the way that this lip looks, but honestly, from the photo I'm going off of, it looks like she really just has a little bit of lip liner on and then a clear gloss over the top. So I think I'm gonna just redo my lips and I'm gonna use a little bit of Pillow Talk and I'm gonna put the new Collagen Lip Bath Lip Glass over the top of that. All right, so this is the completed look. I am a fan going out to dinner later tonight, so this be a nice little spicy look. But yeah, overall, um, most of the Charlotte Tilbury products, I, I like th the powder, I'm still iffy on. I still don't think I would pay the price for the powder. That's my problem with it, is it's a really, really expensive face powder. And um, I don't know, I think it looks great on a lot of people when they use it in tutorials. I just don't know if it's right for me. But everything else, banger. I'm loving this look. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Let me know if you want to continue to see more of these laid back vibe videos where my setup isn't, you know, super profesh. Uh, and that is it. Hope you enjoyed the look. If you have any questions for me, leave them down in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.